All right, Dean here with I Buy Cool Stuff. So yesterday I did a live video of me shopping the indoor garage sale slash flea market at the Taylortown Trade Center. So if you want to see that, click over and uh, watch that. It's also in my channel. Like, subscribe any of my stuff. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Today I'm going to go over the four or five items I bought. Uh, I guess it was four items I bought at the garage sale indoor flea market and uh, show you what they look like on eBay. So of the things I bought, they are all here. I did buy that the other day at the flea market and the guy brought it in for me. The uh, broom handle Mauser, but uh, wasn't really going to talk about that, but I still had it out, so it's still on the table. So I bought a case knife, a western knife, a tank decanter, and a totem pole. So let's talk about uh, the totem pole first. So let's see how the phone and the laptop look together. So when I do my searches, I'll show you how to do a search in a minute. The uh, You can see the totem poles. So the po totem poles go up to lots of money, 600 or whatever. This is uh, totem poles that are similar to what I got there. Um, in the uh, 12 to 15 inch height. So um, that one there is very, very similar to this one. Size, shape, whatnot. Um, if you see that it sold at 175 and it's crossed out, that means somebody made an offer. But the offer is still above 155 So that's how you use eBay as far as that goes. So this here is a, I believe it's just under 13-inch totem pole. But we can look through these totem poles. And these are vintage totem poles. Uh, that one there is also another one that is very similar. That one there is 1955 So this one here that we got yesterday... Is marked rather clearly on the back 1968 Alaska so old totem poles from that time frame are definitely collectible and uh, I gave five dollars for it and it's going to be worth something around a hundred uh, so it's a very good profit there's a Alaska. That one there is very similar as well. I believe mine's a little bit bigger if I looked at that one. So let's look at uh, another one here. So let's look at the case knife. So we've got a nice case pocket knives. Case pocket knives are always collectible. Case double X, it means it's a little bit older. There's usually a model number, so they're easy to look up. 62, 63, SAB it looks like. So that's our, our model number on that. And 62, 65, SAB. So over here on the laptop, I looked it up. And they start out rather expensive. Um, we're looking for ones with the green lettering. All right, so that one there sold for two eighty one. Ours is not in that good a shape. We we gave twenty bucks for it, but it's a high demand item, so it's easy to sell quickly. So you have to always consider demand as well. So if you can sell it quick and buy it for twenty bucks and sell it in twenty minutes for tw for forty dollars, that's the way to buy and sell stuff. All right. So there's a lot of these knives listed. I've been through them all already. You can see the prices on them. It's the same model number. It looks like it is uh, 1974. It's got six dots underneath the thing. If you know what it is and you have any advice for me, please post it in the comments. 
So I believe it's a, a rosewood handle or a redwood handle. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. There's a six dot right there. And they're saying it's 60, 70s. I believe it's 74 for six dots. But looks like they sell. I should get around $100 for that as well. Um, like I said, Case XX knives are always easy selling items. And uh, so you have to buy them. Look at the number of them that have sold here in the $100 range. And you can always come down. You've only got 20 bucks into it. So if you've got 100 on it and somebody offers you 80 just as long as you know it's not 200 you go for it. So, uh, but I think it's probably going to sell in the 80 to to $100 range. So, let's look back here. We've got the Western Knife. And... Uh, Let's, uh, let's, uh, let me see. Here's the Western knife. The model number on it was H39. H39 Western. And, uh, so it's a fixed blade. And it looks like it, I give 15 for it. And... Below here, so the cheapest one that sold, this here says that it's a different terms. So it, we looked up real simple terms because it had the model number right on it, right on it, H39. So the cheapest one of these knives sold for was $62. I give 15 bucks for it. So it looks like it's a $100 bill as well. So we just looked up Western Knife, H39 is the model, which is also right on the blade. So that was easy to look up. So let's look up uh, the fourth thing I bought. So the fourth thing is a tank decanter. And I bought this not because I was looking to make a buck on it. I am very much into military things. And I had never seen a decanter of a tank. So this one here is Ezra Brooks. And uh, let's take this off so we don't break the barrel because that's probably going to break rather easy. And we can see here on the bottom that it's uh, copyright 1971. So that's real straightforward what it is. So I'm going to show you how I use eBay now. So we're going to click in the box here. And we're looking up. It's a Sherman tank, so we're going to look up uh, Sherman tank decanter. All right, so that's, that's our search terms. We don't want to get too into the woods. Uh, if there's a lot of Sherman tank decanters, then we'll add some more sh search terms, but we don't need to get too far off, so we're going to scroll down. We want completed items, so we're going to click the completed items box. Scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. We want to sort them. So we want to sort them. I like to look at the highest price first. Everybody likes to see what the best item might sell for. I want a list view, so I've got them stacked up. And I want the most possible. So let's look... So let's hit search. All right, so there's one. Ezra Brooks, 1971, military Sherman tank. Whiskey decanter, $50. Did not sell, zero bids. Here's another one, same thing. Sold for $35 with $15 shipping. And there's only three of them shown below this line. Results matching fewer words means it is not going to cover exactly what you typed in. So it looks like it sells for $30, $13 shipping, you know, so it's a good deal. I bought it for myself, so at $10, bucks, i am plenty happy. I know when my wife or kid decides to sell it, um, they're going to score good on it. It's not, they're not going to be able to retire with it, but for a $10 bill, it's something I've never seen before, and you have to buy things. So we'll just talk about the... Uh, just because I bought it the other day, somebody brought this into the 
flea market for me, knows that I collect guns. And as long as you've got people that know what you're looking for, somebody will. So it's a World War I broom handle, did all the paperwork on it and everything. Uh, but you have to buy it all, you know. You buy what people bring you, uh, as long as you know what it is and you know how to make money on it. So that's uh, a little bit of uh, the stuff from the other day at the flea market. So remember, get out there and buy stuff. Get out there and hustle. And God bless you and God bless America.